and I'm going to show you a classic spot no matter where you're channel cat fishing, no matter how big a river you're fishing on. You see this root wad right down here? There's actually two of them. We floated by that and it looked like to me the water was about four or five deep, foot deep with some logs going to the second root wad right there, okay? Those channel cats will be right underneath that root wad in the darkest place. You want to fish for them with the sudden impact fiber bait going into the root wad. The smell going in there so the catfish can come out of there and grab it. If you fish behind it, which for some reason historically catfish anglers like to go and they like to fish behind the, the wood instead of in front of it, you're never going to find your active catfish back there because the fish are laying right in the cover. And this is a probably a spot where I'm only going to fish with one rod and I'm going to try to get it right in the middle of that root wad. I'm going to sit here and hold on to it. Let's see what happens. That bait is getting sticky. Okay, now let's just put the rod down here and see what happens. I threw that, I threw that right at the dead, dead center of that root wad. We're going to know within two minutes if there's any channel cats in there. You're not going to want to fish this. You might only catch one or two fish out of this, but that is a proven type of spot you want to set up and fish ahead of the structure. We threw that in there at 436. You can shut her off, Rusty. Let's see what happens. Hey, you know, I called it. We saw a small hit here within two to three minutes and uh, Rusty turned the camera back on because we saw that small hit. We sat there for about another minute and bang, look what happened. Oh, good one. Good channel cat. -hoo 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 -hoo. Come right out from under that root wad. That's a good one. Woo -wee. 440. Nice fish. Fast water. That is just a classic place, folks. Look at that down there and imprint that. That's a cla If that water is deep underneath there, that is a classic place to catch nice channel catfish. Nothing wrong with this dude at all. Got him, sh got him pinched shut. Okay. How about that? Now, how about that? That is a beautiful channel catfish. Clean, clear, just a great fish. And boy, he hit it. He hit that sudden impact fiber bait like a freight train. Took him four minutes to come out of there, and uh, I would suspect that if we hadn't went by that, yeah, he's all he's stuck together there. Let me get the boy; those things can bite. Holy Toledo! There's a reason I like to use those fish grips. 
I'm gonna get those hooks out of their mouth. Cause they don't want to give it up. Okay, now I got him. Now I can do what I want to do with him. He ain't very happy about it, but I'll be able to get the hook out of there now. Well, come on, you mean rascal. He ain't gonna give it up, Rusty. <laughs> he didn't appreciate that stinging little red hook right there. Hot diggity dog, woo wee. I get excited about catching catfish like that. I absolutely love to come out here and do this. And I'd highly encourage everybody to go look for these little little streams and creeks. And like I said, it doesn't have to be a clear little creek like this. You know, we fished the Canadian River earlier this year. Smaller than this, muddy. My kids and I fished it and caught a lot of nice channel cats. Just like this one. <laughs>